Amen. I quoted C.S. Lewis in my sermon. I have another reading from C.S. Lewis that I want to share with you by way of a benediction. These are C.S. Lewis's thoughts on the coronavirus, but he wasn't actually writing about the coronavirus. What I did is I did a control F, uh, automatic replace the words atomic bomb for coronavirus. And I think you'll find it works rather well, and, and vice versa, by the way. Uh, let, let me just read it to you. And, and by the way, it's written in a British accent, so I have to read it that way. In one way, we think a great deal too much of the coronavirus. How are we to live in a viral age? I'm tempted to reply, why, just as you would in the 16th century when the plague visited London almost every year, or as you would have lived in a Viking age when raiders from Scandinavia might land and cut your throat any night, or indeed, as you are already living in an age of cancer, an age of syphilis, an age of paralysis, an age of air raids, an age of railway accidents, an age of motor accidents. In other words, do not let us begin by exaggerating the novelty of our situation, believe me, dear sir or madam, you and all whom you love were already sentenced to death before the coronavirus was identified. And quite a high percentage of us were going to die in unpleasant ways. We had indeed one very great advantage over our ancestors and aesthetics, but we have that still. And it is perfectly ridiculous to go on whimpering and drawing long faces because the scientists have added one more choice of painful and premature death to a world which already bristled with such chances and in which death itself was not a chance at all, but a certainty. This is the first point to be made and the first action to be taken, to pull ourselves together if we are going to be destroyed by a coronavirus, let that virus come and find us doing sensible human things. Praying, working, teaching, playing tennis, chatting to our friends over a pint and a game of darts, not huddled together like frightened sheep thinking about viruses. They may break our bodies. Even an atomic bomb could do that but they need not dominate our minds. And so friends, I charge you to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you wherever you go.